Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Funko collectors out there. Welcome to the Cinema Time, where today I'm going to be reviewing the 10 inch Than. 10 inch Thanos. So, let's get on with it. With all six stones, I could simply snap my fingers. They would all cease to exist. I call that mercy. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. Okay, so right off the bat, here's the box. It is huge. Um, where can I? Here we go. Um, use L. Here is a size comparison for you. So it's like double the size of a pop box. And on top, so you can see that. Kind of the same. So the box is the standard box for the Avengers ones, except of course, huge. Everything is the same. Now, if you might be wondering why the EB Games, EB Games exclusive sticker is there, or even what EB Games is. So in Canada, we don't have GameStop. We do, but it's under a different name, which is called EB Games. And for some reason now, they're getting in Target and Walgreens exclusives to bring those to Canada. Since in Canada, we don't have places like Barnes & Noble, Walgreens, or Target to get pops from. So this is generally a Target exclusive pop, which all the six inch, sorry, 10 inch pops are. So many inches. Oh. The 10 inch ones are from right there. Uh, my box is a bit damaged, but I'm not keeping them in the box. So. Let's take them out. Now something I want to thank Funko for, um, because back in the day, um, I don't know, I, I just know the story, I, I didn't receive it, but um, when the Hulkbuster came out, his hammer was always broken, so to take precaution on this one, they included a little plastic on his gauntlet to make sure it doesn't break. Now this thing's a behemoth, this thing is massive. I've had it for about two days now, and I'm recording the video for it. Like, look at, this thing is huge. I'm gonna do a bunch of different size comparisons after for like close-ups but here he is he basically goes up to the gauntlet and this one's basically a five five almost a six inch pops regularly or about three inches so stick flash right there so that a pop alone is the same size as the head now at first i said wow that looks kind of big and then i went in store and said that's not as big as i thought it was but when i have it up against all the other pops it's massive so look, look at that now i loved the um, 10 inch and 6 inch it pops for new pop smell because I just loved how the um, how much detail you could add into it like his armor has just such a nice paint job the gauntlet just looks amazing his face is just awesome it's huge it stares at me while I sleep and like the eyes and everything is just so well painted and so well sculpted it just it looks so good now this is the standard Thanos pop which is almost a six inch pop and feels so tiny now that I hold it but if you look it's the exact same pop except for one detail the fist here is closed while this one is open they probably did that so it doesn't break because it's so huge now this is actually the first pop I ever pre-ordered because I really did want to get it and oh my goodness am I happy I got it I would strongly recommend getting a 10 inch pop and maybe this one even to start if you want unless you know you don't want half your collection to disappear. The chin, too, is really nice. Like, this is gonna be one of my favorite pops. At the moment, my favorite pop, which does have a review, and I'll link it in the description, is the Green Hornet Pop Specialty Series. But this could maybe take the mantle. This was my most wanted pop for a while, ever since I got this, which was my most wanted pop for about a year. Gearship Star-Lord, Walmart exclusive. So, yeah. Let's go to some close-ups. To truly demonstrate how huge he is, just, he can't, he can barely fit in the frame. So here he is, uh, compared to the regular sized Thanos pop, which is about a five inch pop because he's so tall. Um, I'm gonna use Stefan here. This is a regular sized three and a half inch pop. Here he is compared to the size of the top of Thanos. never done. I'm not good at doing these, so. Spin him around. There's the side. He's got, like, scratches on his ear. Here's the back side, if you ever want to see a Thanos booty. We got the, um, time stone right there. There's the full-on gauntlet with all six infinity stones. 
And here's that smirking son of a gun. Again, demonstrating the small version of him, the different looks. All right. I hope you enjoyed, and every single Monday is something dedicated to film on this channel. Every second Wednesday is whatever Wednesday, so we have vinyl, board games, anything like that. Every Friday is Funko Friday, something Funko related. In this case, it is the 10-inch Thanos, the 10-inch Thanos um, review, and also the Deadpool and Chimichangas review. And next Friday will most likely be a collection update, and thank you so much for watching.